and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. Now it's your pal Oz here today and we're going to be reviewing some Ushis once again. Now it's been a long time but we're going to be reviewing a 7 pack of the Marvel's Ushis Series 3 and then a 7 pack of the Pixar Ushis Series 1. And uh, you're probably wondering why I've got it all blurred out. It's because what we'll do, uh, kinda, I, I think I used to do it this way quite often, is we're going to get them all out of the pack, mix them up in kind of like little mystery eggs, and then uh, we can open them up one at a time. It'll be kind of more fun, a bit more mysterious, not knowing what's going to be there, instead of just like seeing all kind of 14 Ushis and then we just slowly look at them a little bit more closely, which, which isn't as fun. So we'll do it this way, it'll be a bit more cool. So let's get started. Okay, now I've got them all out of their two respective boxes, all in now little separate uh, mystery boxes, like different ones, that looks like the DC ones, Marvel ones, that's the obviously the the kind of uh, mystery box from Pixar and I had not enough mystery boxes so we've got one in the little egg. But that's alright, we'll, we'll start with that one first, eh? just to get its ugly eggness out of the way. So uh, who's it going to be? And of course they're mixed up so I don't know what's going to be uh, Pixar or what's going to be Marvel. So let's see. So first up we have... Oh, he looks like holographic Mr. Oh, not just holographic, maybe glitter holographic uh, Mr. Incredible. Oh, focus. Let's see, is that a thing? Yeah, there we go. Glitter hologram Mr. Incredible. Let's check him out. So as you can guess, he's got glitter in him. He's a little bit holographic. And he's really cool. I like his face. He looks kind of like, I don't know, more, more chubby than a normal <laughs> Mr. Incredible. Something's a little bit different. He still looks cool though. Okay, oh man, keeps going out of focus. Okay, we'll put him there. We'll make a little pile of them there as we go. Okay, so next up, we'll open this one. Feels like there's no one inside. Okay, let's see. It'll be weird if there wasn't. Oh, this is um, the mystery box from the uh, Marvel Ushis. I can tell because it's still got the checklist inside it. So here we go. So the mystery one we had was, I think it's Black Bolt from the, what are they called, the Inhumans? Or oh, classic black, classic black boat. Sorry. So he's really cool. He's like insanely powerful too. I don't know if you've seen Inhumans or any of the cartoons with these guys in them, but he's got the power to, like his voice is insanely strong. So if he just says like a word in normal volume, it'll be enough to kind of level a city. Or if he spoke at the volume I'm speaking at now, that would be enough to destroy a whole planet. Like if he, if he actually shouted, apparently he can destroy the universe um, just through the power of his voice. So he's really strong. Now we'll put him there next to Mr. Incredible and on to the next one. Okay, that's two down. Let's go randomly for one of these blue ones. So what could this be? Open it. It is... Who is that? Um... Ah, I've forgotten his name. Let me look at the back of the thing here. It is, here we go. Hologram Retro Bucky Barnes. Now he's really cool. I love how he's kind of like holographic there and then on his feet, but then his pants and gloves are still like normal. Now he's awesome. Kind of weird little... Um, kind of what you call that little mask he's wearing. Okay, now he's awesome. Now put him here next to Mr. Incredible. Now next up, let's keep the place clean, we'll do this one. So this will be another, I think another Marvel Ushis. Okay, I know this guy straight away. It is... No, I don't know it straight away. I've forgotten. Uh, here we go. Sam... Wilson, Captain America. I thought it was the Falcon for a second, but then I realized it was like Captain America costume. So this is Sam Wilson, Captain America. I don't know if I've got this guy before. He looks really cool. Like he looks a little bit like Falcon, but then with uh, Captain America coloring. That's cool, he's got little guns there. That's nice. Okay, he's awesome, let's keep moving. Put him over there. Okay, now since this one's in the way, we'll do this one. Okay, we have... that looks like Punisher. I think it is classic Punisher. So we'll spin him around. It looks a bit like the um, shield costume or the shield colors, how he's got the big white belt and then that kind of navy blue uniform. But uh, no, definitely Punisher. Now he's really cool. I like the Punisher too. 
he's uh, a little bit like Deadpool where he kills bad guys but he does it in such a kind of harsh mean way like he's kind of the bad guys a little bit terrified of him because he's so brutal when he catches them like he's got no problem with like I don't know, shooting people's knees and and beating them up until they're bleeding and stuff like that anyway here's another cool guy we got Wally he's awesome Let's check him out. Here's his little arms there. So he looks like he's kind of like holding his front there, like he does when he's kind of nervous or shy. Spin him around the back. He is awesome. I love these uh, Pixar ones. I'm not used to them. I used to only just do the Marvel or DC. So uh, the Pixar ones are really cool. Okay, now there's. We've got two there. Let's get rid of them. We'll just kind of like move that direction. That might be the way to go. So here we have, this looks like, not classic Iron Man, I think he's got a different name. It is Iron Man Model 4. And apparently Iron Man still uses this model like as his fallback if um, his new and improved suits don't work. Then this is the kind of one he goes back to because it's reliable and it's the one he used for so long back in the day. I think another name for him is Classic Iron Man, like if you Google him, this design is the Classic Iron Man, because like in the 50s comics, 50s and 60s, this is what Iron Man used to look like, more or less, I think roughly like this guy. Now we'll put that there, okay now let's get started, I want to see what is in this one. So this is the mystery pack for the uh, Pixar Ushis. So hopefully it could be a Fairy Sully, I've never got a Fairy Ushi before, so it could be a Fairy Sully, a Golden Buzz Buzz Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear, or Sparkle Glitter Anger, wow. Okay, let's see, we'll do it together, it is, no idea, <laughs> let's try again, it is, ah, oh, it's one of the little aliens, um, I can't remember their names, it'll be on the box here. Mm, there, Alien number two. So there we go, bit of an anticlimax. I was all excited, hoping it was going to be like a fairy Sully. But okay, he's awesome. Now we'll put him next to Wally. -E. Okay. Wow, what's happening down there? Ooh, Okay, now who's next? So we'll do, we'll leave those two guys and we'll do this one. Okay. Now this will be another Pixar Ushi. It is, I think he's one of the Green Army Men. Yeah, Green Army Man number one. There he is. He's really cool. So he's got like a flat base like the normal Army Men. Or the classic Army Men. Spin them around. I wonder if there's more than one. Yeah, there's two. There's Army Man one. Uh, which is this guy, and he's got a little rifle, I oh, know he's got a little bazooka, and then there's Army Man number two, and he looks like he's got, oh no, I'm wrong, this is Army Man number two with the bazooka, and then there's Army Man, hold on, let me show you, there's Army Man number one with a little, what's that, it looks like he's holding binoculars or something, and his hat's all kind of slanted, and then Army Man number two, which is this one with the bazooka. So there we go, okay, we'll put him next to the little alien, Sorry to break you guys up. And now, let's keep going. Well, these Ushi containers are cool looking, but they're kind of a bit harsh on your fingers opening them up. Okay, now this one is, it's the rat from Ratatouille. Is his name actually Ratatouille? No, it's Remy. Or Remy. Probably Remy. Remy sounds better. Spin them around. I love the amount of detail. Like I remember from the Ushi series one and two that they used it. Most Ushis had very similar models, just with slight variances. Whereas now, like they'll go and make a whole new model and paint it up and everything just for one particular character. It's um, crazy. Like this guy's a lot smaller than the average Ushi, but they they do them now, no problem. It's, it's kind of cool. Just a lot more variation than they used to be. Okay, now we got another one. We've opened heaps. We're up to like two, four, six, eight, ten, number eleven, and it is Jack Jack. Oh, looks like a some sort of glitter, glitter hologram Jack. He is awesome. And 
Made in China. Now he's really cool. Okay, put him there. I was reading up about him before because I haven't seen Incredibles number two yet. And he's got like a crazy amount of powers. He can uh, change his shape, he can shoot lasers from his eyes, he can teleport, he can climb up walls, he can uh, make himself into fire, make himself into heavy metal, he can do so many things. It would be weird if they make like an Incredibles 3 and he's like older and they would use all those powers. That would make him very scary. Um, okay, now who's going to be this one? This is going to be another Marvel one. It is someone green. It is, I think it's Gamora. Classic Gamora. And it's uh, holographic Gamora. So holographic Gamora in like the classic design. Not like the newer Guardians of the Galaxy version. She's really cool. I love how she's like wearing a hood or a cape or something. Nice. I don't know if there's any holo glow in the dark guys this season. No, not for Marvel. I don't see any glow in the dark guys. That's a shame. I really like the glow in the dark ones. When I put them in my studio, oh here we go, Pixar's got heaps of them. When I put them in my studio and turn off the lights at night, like all I can see is the glow in the dark who she's glowing everywhere. It's kinda really nice. It's kinda cool. How many we got left? We only got uh, two left. So this is gonna be another Pixar one, I think. Three, two, one. It is, what's his name? Mike Lewowski, oh it's just Mike. What do they say in the movie? It's like Mike Lewowski, Mike Kabowski, something like that. But he's awesome, okay. He's got a little smile there. His eye looks a little bit sleepy. Spin him around. Don't remember him having little horns, but I'm, I'm sure he does. I haven't seen the movie in a long time. I should probably watch it again. It's been long enough that I've probably forgotten enough that it will be kind of exciting again to watch. Okay, now very, very, very last one. Now this will be a Marvel Ushi. Let's hope it ends with someone amazing. It is oh, slightly amazing. It is Nick Fury. Now, do I have his name right? Yeah, just Nick Fury. I was going to say classic Nick Fury because he's the old-fashioned kind of older guy Nick Fury not like like in the newer movies set uh, an actor called Samuel L. Jackson plays Nick Fury and he's bald and he's African-American he's still got the eye patch but he looks very different to this so that's why I was thinking he could be some sort of classic Nick Fury and uh, here this will give you an example before I was talking about how um, the Punisher looks like he's wearing the shield kind of outfit well yeah that's that's why it's very similar color but there we go so Nick Fury He's awesome, and if you don't know much about him, he's the guy in charge of S.H.I.E.L.D. at the moment, and he's also the guy who kind of united the Avengers in the Avengers movies, and he used to be like an awesome kind of spy, um, kind of like, uh, what's her name? Uh, I don't know, I can't remember her name, the, the Lady Avenger, I've uh, forgotten her name, but he used to be like her, like a spy flying around, kicking butt, being awesome, and then he kind of retired to be in charge of S.H.I.E.L.D. But there we go, so here we have it, so we got all 14 guys now from the Marvel Ushis, the Pixar Ushis, and stay tuned because um, I do have a lot more Ushis to open up, uh, like this one, so I did have a bit of a break from Ushis because there was nothing new for a while, but thankfully uh, and the amazing people at Head Start Games sent me a ton of Ushis, so that means it's great news for everyone because I'll be able to review a lot of Ushis again, and ones I've never done before, like these Pixar ones. Um, so if you like this video, let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, take care of yourself, have a great week, and I will see you next time.